Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is a Thursday, August 24th, 2023. You're listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. The Republicans debate in Milwaukee. Trump surrenders in Atlanta. A majority of Americans fear for their personal safety. And doctors say working from home is bad for your health. That's all coming up. Then I will be here with the message of the day. But first, the 2024 Republican candidates share the stage in Milwaukee for the very first GOP debate. And at the same time, Donald Trump spoke with Tucker Carlson on Twitter. We will talk about this debate coming up in just a little bit. The latest polling averages show Donald Trump with a commanding lead. We'll see if last night changed any of that. Donald Trump surrendering to local authorities in Atlanta. His legal team already agreed to a $200,000 bond to keep the former president out of prison like he's some big flight risk or something. We'll talk more about that later too. A Fulton County grand jury returned a 41 count indictment against Trump and 18 others for allegedly perpetrating a criminal conspiracy to overthrow Georgia's 2020 election results. Co-conspirators include Rudy Giuliani and former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Rudy turned himself in yesterday. He said, isn't that nice? A mugshot for the man who probably put the worst criminals of the 20th century in jail. You go find a prosecutor who has a better record than mine in the last hundred years. I bet you don't, or a mayor, and they're going to degrade themselves by doing a mugshot of me like people won't recognize me. And then, of course, they can fingerprint me, but I've been fingerprinted 150 times, so this will turn out exactly like the FBI search turned out. They're lying, and I'm telling the truth. Researchers at one poll find 52% of Americans fear for their personal safety every single day. Wow, that figure rises to 75% for those between the ages of 25 and 34. The daily anxiety is caused by rising crime, homeless camps, and increased violence on public transportation. A quarter of adults plan on relocating to improve their security situation. A report from Fast Company Magazine finds that 70% of remote workers experience significant vision problems. On average, folks spend 13 hours a day on their computers. Wow, 13 hours a day on their computers compared to nine hours for on-site employees. Doctors recommend taking a break from the device every 20 minutes. A quarter of folks working from home also report lower back pain, neck problems, and frequent headaches. This actually ties in perfectly to the message of the day. Coming up next, did any candidates last night hit the Oliver Anthony note? We'll explain next. Hey, if you watch my program or have been paying attention at all since COVID, you are aware of the risks we all face to our supply chain, critical infrastructure, and the power grid. Cyber attacks, gunfire, pandemics, all on the table. What would your family do facing a months long blackout? No electricity, no fridge, no phone, no respirator, and an empty grocery store. Well, four Patriots as a new solar powered portable generator. It harnesses the power of the sun, can be moved around the house, and is used to power essentials in a time of crisis. So don't procrastinate on ensuring your family's well-being at a time they need it most. Please go to 4 today. Use my code, no spin for 10% off. That's the number 4, Patriots.com. Again, use code no spin for 10% off. Hey, I'm Mike Slater filling in for Bill O'Reilly. Now it's time for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. At the debate last night, do you think anyone hit the Oliver Anthony note? What is the Oliver Anthony note? Oliver Anthony is the guy from Virginia whose song, Rich Men North of Richmond, just hit the number one song on the Billboard charts. He is the only person to ever hit number one who has never had another chart appearance. Why did his song resonate so profoundly with so many people? I think two reasons. First is the more obvious economic reasons. The opening line, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bull blank pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. Oliver himself, that's actually his grandfather's name. His name is Chris Lunsford. So Chris worked at a paper mill, third shift, 1450 an hour, the kind of jobs that have been outsourced over the years and 
if they've stayed, wages have gone down. You know, the debate last night was in Milwaukee. The master lock factory was in Milwaukee. It's still there, but the 400 employees were recently notified that their jobs are all moving to Mexico. So it won't be there for long. Did anyone speak to that economic reality last night, you think? And that's good. That's important to speak to that if you think anyone did. But what about the deeper issue that Oliver Anthony spoke to? I think this is best exemplified with the line, living in the new world with an old soul. More than economic stability, and that's part of it, don't get me wrong. But even more than that, I think people want to return to the simplicity of the good old days. Now, when you talk about the good old days, the left immediately goes to, oh, you mean the days of slavery? You mean the days of Jim Crow? No. A time when maybe you did work hard at the factory all day. You probably did or out on the farm and you went home tired and you didn't make a lot of money. Yeah, but it wasn't soul crushing because you had everything else. You had all the other things that make life actually worth living. You had the connection, the family, the friends, the community, a connection to a higher power and an eternal purpose. I think that's what people deep down want even more than the economic prosperity. I think what people really want more than anything is the internal peace. The world has changed too fast. It's not only that it's changed, it's changed too fast, faster than ever. That's for sure. For most humans who have ever lived on the planet, nothing ever changed ever in their lifetime. There were cathedrals that took 800 years to build. So nothing changed in all those generations of people who contributed to the building of that cathedral. I was a part of building it. And so was my father and his 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 and nothing changed. And in a way, maybe that's boring, but it's stable. And this has been a time of deep instability and people feel it living in a new world with an old soul. Chris says his song resonated because it was sung by someone who really feels it. No editing, no agent, no BS, just some idiot in his guitar. The style of music that we should have never gotten away from in the first place. And that's it right there. There are a lot of things in this country that we should have never gotten away from in the first place. Did any candidate speak to that last night? And maybe a candidate for office can't. Maybe it's something that only someone with a guitar can really speak to. But that's what people really want. The simplicity of the good old days. Something you might not know. Next. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584. 800-925-7584. For a free quote, this protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistant, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800 Nine two five seven five eight four. Hey, what do you have to lose? Eight hundred nine two five seven five eight four. I'm Mike Slater, filling in for Bill O'Reilly. Now it's time for something you might not know: the mass trial. No matter what happened last night at the debate, Trump has once again commanded all media attention by turning himself in today into Georgia authorities. Trump the other day sent out one of his all-time great tweets. He said, "The failed DA." Fanny Willis insisted on a $200,000 bond from me. I assume, therefore, that she thought I was a flight risk. Oh, I'd fly far away, maybe to Russia, 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 share a gold-domed suite with Vladimir, never to be seen or heard from again. Would I be able to take my very understated airplane with the gold Trump affixed for all to see? Probably not. I'd be much better off flying commercial. I'm sure nobody would recognize me. Classic. But there was one odd thing about this Trump indictment. Well, there's a lot of odd things, but one in particular, and that is the DA's desire to try all of them at once. I've never seen that before. It just 
seems, and I don't use this word lightly, it seems banana republic-y. And it turns out it is. Last year, the communists in Cuba held a mass trial for 21 protesters, one giant mass trial, 16 to 59-year-olds, all charged with sedition and inciting counter-revolutionary thinking. That was just last year. In 2020, in Turkey, 500 people were sentenced to life in prison in one trial for their involvement in a coup attempt in 2016. Almost 100,000 people were arrested and 150,000 Turkish citizens were fired from their jobs. But those 500 people were all tried in a single mass trial. 2014, Egypt, 170 people were sentenced to death, one mass trial. In 1956, in the apartheid regime in South Africa, they tried 156 people at once for opposing the government's racial discrimination policies. And the DA in Georgia wants to do the same thing here too. Now the chief of staff of Trump, Mark Meadows, he demanded a federal trial. So in, in state RICO charges, if the crime in question was committed while engaging in your duties as a federal official, you can request a federal trial separate from the RICO trial. And Mark Meadows is like, get me out of here. I want, I want nothing to do with this sham trial that's going on in Georgia. I want to be tried on my own merits in my own case based on evidence about me and me alone, not these other jokers. But this isn't about justice. It is a show trial. And this DA wants to put on as big of a show as possible. And you know what? The bigger the show, the more it helps Trump. I'm Mike Slater, filling in for Bill O'Reilly. More coming up. And paid for by Linear Marketing Group. Are you drowning in debt? Are you struggling to make minimum payments? Did you know that on average, a household with at least one credit card struggles with over 17000 in credit card debt? If this sounds like you, know that it's not your fault. Credit card debt happens to good people. Credit card companies lure you in with low introductory rates and low minimum payments. Before you know it, you're in over your head. We've helped thousands of good people just like you become debt-free with our Debt Reset Program that will dramatically reduce your debt down to a fraction of what you owe. Our Debt Reset Program is customized to get you debt-free in as little as 24 to 48 months with one low monthly payment. If you owe over $10,000 in credit card debt or even personal loans, call 800-490-9015 now. There are no upfront fees or out-of-pocket expenses. You don't pay a dime until we succeed. Call now to see how the Debt Reset Program could work for you. 800-490-9015. That's 800-490-9015. Again, 800-490-9015. Mike Slater from the podcast Politics by Faith. Thank you, Bill, for letting me fill in today. And thank you for listening. Hope you have a great day. We'll be back tomorrow.